Hi choir, great job with the anthem Psalm 91. Did anyone see a special detail in the video? Let me know if you notice anything when you view it on YouTube. Our anthem for this Sunday is, I will keep my eyes on you. This contemporary anthem carries a very timely message during this period of strife in our country and the greater church. It's a simple message, but one that we need to be reminded of, to keep our eyes on God, to place our trust in God, and to walk in faith with God. Now for some notes on this piece. Form. The form is verse 1, verse 2, bridge, verse 3, tag. Straightforward. Now the tag repeats the ideas of the verse, verses. Walk in faith with you, place my trust in you, and keep my eyes on you. Repeats. There is one repeat on page 2, which is very easy to follow. It simply returns to page 1, where verse 2 is clearly marked. Let's look at that real fast. So here's page 2. And you can see right there, you finish verse 1, take the first ending, it says go back to measure 9, which is on page 1 right here, and then you sing verse 2. Okay, very, very straightforward. But make sure, when you're finishing verse 2, that you take the second ending. Look right here. Make sure you take that second ending right here, and get ready to sing that bridge, which comes... Uh, right over here, and we've got a dynamic change, which we'll talk about uh, later, okay? Um, now, another thing about the form, unison singing and harmony singing. Make sure you know when to sing unison and when to sing harmony. So, verse 1 is unison, verse 2 is parts, and then later on we sing a combination of unison and parts. Let's look at this real far f first, real fast. So, you can see right here, the composer made it very clear. First time, choir with unison. Second time, choir parts. Okay? And then um, we see at the bottom of page two, um, we're in unison at the bottom of page two, and the composer makes that clear. See where it says unison? Unis, it says right there. And then on the final page, uh, final page, the top of the page here on page three, we sing in unison, then we go to parts, parts, women, and then we sing unison at the end. This is straightforward, but it never hurts just to make sure things are good and clear. Okay? Breathing and cutoffs. Breathing is easy in this piece. There are no long phrases in this piece, so sing every phrase in one breath, then breathe on the rests. The only tricky breath, which I don't think is too tricky, but we should still talk about it, occurs in the middle of the third measure of each verse. Let's look at verse 1 on page 1. You sing, I will keep my eyes on you, and then you have an eighth rest to breathe, and then you sing, on you. And I will clearly conduct the eighth rest, and you should have no problem. So let's look at this. So it goes like this. I will keep my eyes on you, on you. Uh, pretty straightforward. I'll conduct it like this. I will keep my eyes on you, on you. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this to your attention is because the contemporary nature of the song includes syncopations, which makes some breaths seem tricky at first glance, okay? And the reason I'm saying all this stuff is because we're not actually together to talk about it and to work it out in person. But let's continue. Rhythm. Let's talk more about the syncopations. Hopefully you've been listening to the demo recording and getting a feel for the syncopations and how to sing them. The trickiest syncopations occur in the first three measures of each verse. So let's look at verse 1. I will keep my eyes on you. The word will is syncopated, and then the next three words, keep my eyes, that's all syncopated. Then we land on the fourth beat of the word on, and then um, go immediately to another syncopation with the word you. So let's look at that. So it goes, I will, the word will is syncopated, keep my eyes is syncopated, and then on you, the word you is syncopated there. So it goes like this, I will keep my eyes on you, on you. All right? You can hear that clear, clearly sung 
in the demo recording and the um, section leaders will do it. Okay, so let me do it one more time and I'll snap this time and you'll hear how those syncopations fall in between the snaps. So watch. One, two, three, four. I will keep my eyes on you, on you. And here's what we're conducting. I will keep my eyes on you, on you. So the goal is to sing these syncopations with legato, smooth and connected without exaggeration. Okay, so here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to over... Uh, emphasize and exaggerate, exaggerate the syncopations. It'll sound choppy. I will keep my eye. I, no one ever does that, but of course we don't want to aim in that direction. And we want to avoid squaring off the syncopations. For example, I will keep, whoops, I sang the word will too long and I landed the word keep on the downbeat. Okay, now I'm certain We'll work all this out, but I wanted to give us some mental exercise, some musical mental exercise, so we could kind of think about it before we record it. Because if there are some issues there, I, you know, we'll have we'll have to deal with them. All right. So listen to the demo recording with this in mind. Practice it so that you're really getting those smooth syncopations. All right. Dynamics. The verses are mezzo forte. And the bridge on measure 27 is forte. Uh, measure 27, verse uh, page 2, you can see right there. That's the only forte right there. That's, that's the bridge. So let's make sure to give the bridge a good punch in dynamics. So the dynamic feel for this anthem would be expressed as confident peace. So this is not a quiet expression of solitude, but a confident expression of faith. We sing the phrase, I will, I will, over and over again. And the composers ask us to sing mezzo forte, not mezzo piano, mezzo forte, which to me to commu uh, communicates determination and not doubt or reluctance. So we're saying, we're, we're singing I will with mezzo forte, with determination, all the way through, repeating these ideas, I will trust, I will watch, I will, that kind of thing, giving ourselves uh, confidence. Okay, video. This is a three-page anthem, so I don't think I'll hear or see any page turning, and you all are doing great with this. Once in a while, I'll hear a page turn and might see it kind of flip into the frame I create with your videos. And if it interferes, I can edit it out most of the time, that the sound of the page turning, that is. Uh, but still, uh, try to keep your pages quiet as, as best you can, okay? Now, here's another thing, movement. Remember to try to limit your movement when singing. I, I know many of us move to, the, to the, the phrasing and to the beat and that kind of thing, but if you move too much when singing, you'll move out of the cropped frame that I make. Remember, I crop our frames like this. So, so if you're moving, now of course my hands are moving with me, you're going to move out of the frame, right? And we don't want to see that as much as possible, all right? Now we're not plagued with this. I mean, if everybody kept moving out of the frame, it would be a big issue. It's just happening once in a while. But I'm mentioning it just to kind of help us improve and take our videos up um, up in uh, in in uh, in detail, you know, uh, as much as we can. Okay, um, invitations. If you haven't invited anyone to sing with us, try it this week. Okay, there are people out there that are just waiting for an invitation, and let's not miss the opportunity for others to join us. This is a great anthem for people to join in on. It is easy, it's beautiful, and it's very meaningful. Okay, so. Um, Enjoy making your video. Remember how much our church family, both in person and online, enjoy seeing all of you each week. I look forward to putting your videos together, and again, have a wonderful time, and I hope the rest of your week uh, goes well.
Thank you. 